Hey guys, what's up? You're watching Up and Adam. My name's Adam Noel. And for those of you who don't know me, I'm the guy bringing you guys all your favorite news from your favorite celebrities and pop culture influencers. Today is no different. Today we're talking about Dorinda and Vicky Gumbelson, amongst a few other people who might be returning to our screens, which is exciting. Guys, before we do, you know how this works. If you haven't already, go ahead, smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell. Because, well, you don't want to miss anything we have coming up. Now with that, hit that intro. It's time for all your binge-worthy pop culture news. Welcome to Up and Adam. All right, guys, so we know that we've heard about a Real Housewives All-Stars mashup. They've already filmed the first season, and the first season is supposed to be coming out soon. Um, we're excited about that. If it does well, which I'm guessing the network thinks it's going to, it's going to be premiered on Peacock, but if it does well, then they'll continue to film these little mashup series. And from what we're hearing from TMZ, which is TMZ, but from what we're hearing from TMZ, they're already working on their second installment of the show. This is who it's going to include, and I'm pretty excited about it. Taylor Armstrong from The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, Eva Marcel from The Real Housewives of Atlanta, Brandi Glanville, also from The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, Jill Zarin from The Real Housewives of New York, Dorinda Medley from The Real Housewives of New York, and of course, our OG of the OC from The Real Housewives of Orange County, Vicki Gumbelson. I also think it's funny that they always do, you know, a franchise with only one person. Like, for example, they're doing Vicki, who's the only one coming from Orange County, but the first season they did Kyle Richards, who was the only one from Beverly Hills. So that's interesting to me. But apparently they're filming at a top secret location. And as for why Dorinda was asked back, this is what was said. Viewers loved Dorinda and they thought it would be great to bring her back to a show um, that brings her together with some of the past favorites of the other franchises. Also, she was just on Watch What Happens Live and she was promoting her new book. But with that, it made you wonder, it made me wonder especially, why did they have Dorinda on? Was it because they're bringing her back to the Real Housewives of New York City, which I definitely think is a shoe in Or is it because there's something else going on? It couldn't have just been for a book promotion, but this makes a lot of sense. Now, they're saying that no doubt the drinks will be flowing and drama will be happening as these women spend a week together while filming. Um, they said that these women, this group of women, that they're reality television gold, and they think that it's going to make for a great second season of the All-Stars franchise. As for the first season of The Real Housewives um, All-Stars, we know that it was Melissa Gorga, Teresa Judice, Kenya Moore, Cynthia Bailey, also Ramona Singer, okay, Luann Deliceps, and Kyle Richards. That is apparently going to be streaming by the end of this year. I can't wait to see the trailer for it. And from what we've heard, Kenya Moore and Ramona Singer, there was a lot of drama. I just want to know what happened. Just like we were waiting for The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City the trailer to come out. Now we're waiting for this, but getting back to something that's relevant as of right now, we know that the Real Housewives of New York City, it will be back on Tuesday night. A lot of fans are not loving it, and it seems like the reunion keeps getting pushed back. They were blaming Ramona Singer for the reunion getting pushed back. However, when she made an appearance on Watch What Happens Live, I feel like they're all on Watch What Happens Live, but I'm sure that's part of their contract too. But when she made an appearance on Watch What Happens Live, she made it very clear if I have, you know, a business obligation, I am not going to break that. I don't care what the rumors are. That is simply not true. And the way she was hanging all over Andy and the way she was presenting herself talking, it didn't look like Ramona was going to be going anywhere. It didn't seem like she was getting fired at all. And also for Andy, he kind of made it known on Watch What Happens Live that if anything, I think that we have a good cast. But from what fans are saying, we need more more women to add to the cast because running with five women we've said this so many times that just doesn't work and it's showing in the ratings for multiple reasons fans have complained about this season but i think a big part of the problem is the fact that there's only five women i wish heather thompson even though i'm not the biggest heather thompson fan i wish she wouldn't have ran away after leah kind of went in on her but i think that she was like this is not the roni that i remember filming i don't want to be around this woman i'm not going to be made to look like something I'm not. So she was like, I'm out. That's when they brought in Bershawn Shaw. All right, 
Hopefully the rest of the season gets better. I don't know. I even just did a, a recap this past week and I was asking you guys and even Kempire, what are you guys looking forward to most this season, the rest of the season? And nobody really had an answer. We don't really know what to get excited about. And that's a problem. I mean, especially when you have the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, all of the drama unfolding before our very eyes when it comes to the Girardis. And now knowing that we're getting Salt Lake City back and that's going to be insane. It just makes you not as interested. I hate to say that, but that's how we're feeling. Guys, with that, I want to know what you think about all of this. What are your thoughts on, you know, the upcoming All-Stars season? How do you feel about the second season and who might potentially be cast? Do you hope this is true? I do. And who would you be looking forward to seeing most? Would it be Dorinda, Vicky, Jill Zarin, Taylor Armstrong? Would it be Phaedra Parks? Hmm. Brandy Glenbo? I don't know. I want to know who you think would be the most interesting. Honestly, if Brandy comes in, I mean, this is a good mashup of women. All right, guys. Okay, I'm done talking. I'm going to go snorkeling now. So with that, if you haven't already, go ahead, comment below. But before you go, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell. And give me your thoughts on the new intro. I shortened it for you guys. I listened. You spoke out, and I received it. So I just want to hear your thoughts. All right. Well, I hope you guys have a beautiful Sunday and I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys.